Welcome to Wild Breakaway with West Walls. I'm Audra Martin. The Wild and the Kings met just two weeks ago, and it was the Kings who were in the midst of a six-game losing streak. They've been a different team ever since, but tonight the Minnesota Wild still played good enough to hand them the loss. They come out on top 3-1 to one here in L.A. in a game that was really, you know, exciting one to watch and a big two points for Minnesota. It was a really, really exciting game. Uh, I know it was a late game. I don't know how many people were watching. <laughs> a lot of people maybe went to bed. Uh, but I'm telling you, that was a really, really well-played, hard-fought game. The L.A. Kings with their new coaching staff really, really played hard. They took it to the Minnesota Wild the first 10 minutes of the game. The Wild were able to tie the game up on a, with a power play goal by Nino Niederreiter to, to get a little bit of momentum and then they kind of pushed back the LA Kings and, and, and played a really, really solid uh, game the rest of the way. Did not score first. This is their 7-3-1 and one when, they, uh, when they have not scored, scored first. That's something they got to, uh, at some point, get figured out here, uh, you know, chasing games. It makes it really, really difficult. But, boy, there's a lot of character in that room. They've uh, been doing it all year long. Yep, there's a lot to like tonight. You know, Nina Ryder gets his first of the season. Miko Koivu, three assists on the night. And Zach Parisi with a goal and assist hits career point number 700, not to mention the power play back at it again and a perfect night on the penalty kill. So overall, a great effort from the Wild in L.A. Once we got the goal, then all of a sudden everything picked up for us. And um, I mean, the Los Angeles Kings play really hard. They've always, you know, and I've played them probably as many as much as anybody here. And uh, they were playing hard again tonight. And but I thought we weathered a few storms and, and played well ourselves. So now the road trip continues as the Wild close out another set of back-to-back -back games tomorrow night as they take on Bruce's former team, the Anaheim Ducks, who have been struggling lately after getting off to a really hot start. They now suddenly just have two wins in their last 10 games. Prime opportunity for the Wild to stay perfect in Game 2 situations. Yeah, and, and, and this club got off to a bit of a tough start. They got some guys back from injury. Uh, uh, Richie's back. Um, um, Ryan Kessler is back. Josh Manson, defenseman, is back. Uh, they're playing a little bit better. I happened to watch the uh, the game a couple nights ago. They played at home against the uh, Calgary Flames. Actually, last night played an outstanding, uh, outstanding hockey game. So maybe that's the start of something where they're going to get something going. So anytime you're out in California, it makes it difficult. But uh, uh, as you mentioned, the Wild are on the back-to-backs this mm -hmm. year. On the back end of back-to-backs, they're 3-0. and And uh, a big reason for that is the way Alex Daylock has played. We don't know for sure yet if he's playing. But if he gets the opportunity to play, I'm sure he'll play very well. And we know the team's going to want to get that W for their head coach yeah, taking on his sure. former team. We'll see if they can get it done tomorrow night. We look forward to seeing you on the quick turnaround. Enjoy the rest of your night. Until then, for West Walls and Roger Martin, thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.